you have two inspectors general and they are referring to this to the Justice Department and you can try to confuse it and uh, there's been a lot of misdirection there's been inaccurate reporting significantly on uh, Thursday night by the New York Times it's not a criminal referral not at this stage it could become and it could become nothing no. but what they are suggesting <laughs> is that the classified four out of the 40 randomly selected had classified information and it was not information that was later upgraded to be classified it was information that was classified as quote secret which is a level of classification at the time uh, this gets very confusing and it can be uh, confused further by statements on all sides right. that said the original sin, if you will, yeah. is having a private email that's, system. And it's just the unfixable. That's, it's unfixable. That's, you know, I, I was at a security conference speaking to intelligence officials uh, on all sides and to the Attorney General, and we'll talk about that later. But nobody can give an explanation for why a cabinet secretary would have a private email system other than to thwart inquiries, FOIAs, and, and someone who had spent 20 years fighting off uh, many investigations, many of which were unwarranted and which led nowhere. And so you understand the defensive crouch that a lot of Clinton people were in, but it still doesn't explain why going from the Senate into a cabinet level position, there was a private email system. All right, Joe? And, and Ron, Ron Fournier, the, the Clinton camp isn't a defensive crouch. They're furiously fighting back also with their allies in the press, attacking the New York Times. What they can't, what they can't brush away is the fact that the words of the inspector generals themselves from the State Department and the Intel committees that these emails should have never been sent out on a private server, that it was a security breach and it does need to be investigated. Well, we can't brush away the fact that the secretary said when this first was revealed that there was no confidential information that was given out. We know, now know that's true. She's parsing it now by saying at this time, but we know what happens when the Clintons, when the Clintons parse, and it's, and it's happening again. Look, let's go back, like Andrea said, to the original sin here. It was unprecedented a home cooked server in your in your house if you're a cabinet secretary it's, it was against white house policy to have a home cooked server in your basement of your house when you're a cabinet secretary it was to thwart uh, congressional subpoenas congressional requests for information and public requests for information and the only explanation she's given you know frankly isn't very credible so well, i think the american wait let me just finish real quick yeah. the american public has the right now has every reason and the press has a responsibility to ask her again and again and again what were you hiding mrs clinton 